collision between Bruce Lee and Christoph Jotko. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. We go inside the octagon. Here is Ladies Bruce and Buffett. gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Chris Jotko! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? <laughs> All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Shot goes, hook shot, blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Big head kick lands. Shot go gets caught with that punch. Right hand upstairs. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Just misses there with the left. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he goes. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks, that one was checked. Strong outside leg kick. Straight right. 
to connect with the right. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Beautiful head kick. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Chopko. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Punch there by Lee. A nice counter left hook. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. A beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent. Bring up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Shotko gets touched by that kick there. Nice one, two there. Oh, goes to the spinning heel kick now, and it connects. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, big knee! Shotko's got the full mount. Oh, he got it back! Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. Put it to good use, though. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Huge kick to the head. with these beautiful leg kicks. Jotko's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Stuffs the takedown there. Oh. He's, hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. Jotko gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a performance. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by knockout, Chris Chappell!
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also...